So we will uh, start with module 3, what we that is torsion of shafts. So derivation of stiffness matrix or finite element formulation of shafts. So we will be deriving the stiffness matrix equation for the shafts. So, we consider a prismatic rod of cross-sectional area A which is subjected to a twisting moment T as shown in the figure. In this figure, we can see a prismatic rod which is subjected to torsion. T is the applied uh, torsion. Okay, R is the capital R is the entire radius, small r is the radius of this unit area which is selected. Okay, X and Y are the directions. Okay, so this is how the twisting will uh, take place. So the prismatic rod is modeled as a one dimensional bar element which is having two nodes as shown in the figure. So that is it is modeled by a simple 1D element which is having two nodes node 1 and node number 2. T1 torsion at node number 1 T2 torsion at node number 2. Theta1 and Theta2 are the angle of twists at node number 1 and node number 2 respectively. So L is the entire length. So as I told, let T1 and T2 are the end torques at node 1 and 2 respectively. Theta1 and Theta2 are the end twists at node 1 and 2 respectively. So let us assume a linear angle of twist variation along the x axis of the bar such that theta is equal to a1 plus a2 x. So we apply the boundary conditions and by solving we get theta is equal to n1 n2 theta1 theta2 where n1 is equal to what x2 minus x divided by x2 minus x1 and n2 is equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1. So the relationship between the shear strain mu and angle of twist theta can be obtained by considering the torsional deformation of the bar segment which is shown in the figure. We assume that all the radial lines such as OE that remain straight during twisting or torsional deformation. So from the figure the arc length AB is given by R AB is equal to mu max into dx is equal to r into d theta. So, shear strain mu max is equal to r into t theta by dx. Similarly, at any radial position r, from the two similar triangles from the figure that is OAD and OCD are the two similar triangles. What we have? We have mu is equal to R into D theta by DX is equal to R by L 
into theta 2 minus theta 1. Equation number 1. Also, for linear elastic isotropic materials, the shear stress tau and shear strain nu is given by tau by nu is equal to g. So, also from the basic torque equation, we know that T by J is equal to tau by R or further it is written as T is equal to tau into J by R. Equation number 3. Here J is the polar moment of inertia. Substituting equation 1 and 2 in equation number 3, we get that T is equal to G J by L into theta 2 minus theta 1. So, from the figure at node 1, T is equal to T1. So, T1 is equal to G J by L into theta 1 minus theta 2. Equation number 4. Similarly, T is equal to T2 at node 2. T2 is equal to G J by L into theta 2 minus theta 1. Equation number 5. So, writing equation 4 and 5 in the matrix form, we get T1 into T2 is equal to G J by L into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 into theta 1 theta 2. So, writing this in the simplest form, T is equal to K into theta. So, here K is the stiffness matrix of the torsion bar. That is K is equal to G J by L into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. So, this is the equation for elemental stiffness matrix of or a bar which is subjected to torsion. K is equal to G J by L into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. 